So you want to start a business. You don't know where to start. You don't even know who to trust. Some of you don't even know what you want to do. The big question is, how do you start a business that is not only fun, but profitable? Hold on for a second, and I'm going to tell you that and more. There's a lot of people that will tell you starting a business is easy. If you have experience, if you're connected, if you have a shitload of money, it could be easy. Even if you have all those things, there's a few things that are missing. And that's one of the problems. The truth of the matter is that many of you only want to make a lot of money. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, hey, hey. Don't slay the messenger. I'm just giving you the truth. Look, Alex, I want you to be successful. I want you to be happy, to make a lot of money, to enjoy each and every day, to have unprecedented freedom. These are some of the things that creating a business that serves people, these are byproducts. These are things that could happen. But Alex, I got to tell you a few things that you don't want to hear. Number one, it's not going to be easy. Number two, more than likely, it's not going to be quick. Number three, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. I know, I know. It's not what you heard on the interwebs. That's not what you heard for the free 99. Or that guy who was saying, I'm giving you 90% of my information for free. So the 10% that I charge for should be outstanding. It's none of that. I'm not telling you that. What I'm going to do is give you my story, Alex. I'm going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I've started 10 businesses in my life. Well, maybe 12. Let's just call two hustles. Let's just call two hustles. Ten businesses. First five sucked ass. Let me tell you what I did with the first business. I was going to start a photo service. Pictures with your pooch. That was the name of the business. I know, I know, I know. It's a little crazy. Well, I did it. I bought this camera from Wolf Camera way back in the day. Bought it on credit since you know, I was in the military and they had this special for the armed forces members. I got my camera right. I put an ad in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. It was expensive. And I was at Fort McPherson that place that Tyler Perry's getting ready to buy or bought, something like that. I was, st I was stationed there. So we had the privilege to put phones in our room. So I ordered a phone service. So I had my own phone in the room, I had my camera, and I had my ad in the newspaper. I was ready to make some money. So I waited by that phone and waited and waited and waited. And when I would get off work every day, I would come in and I'd check the answering machine. No messages. Nobody. Now I'll tell you about another business. I was in the storage auction business. If you want to investigate my background, please do. Go to Amazon.com. Put in Glendon Cameron and all my books will pop up. First book was about storage auctions. I was in that business for 10 years. I worked 70, 100 hour weeks routinely. Often worked seven days a week. Business was phenomenally successful. I was on the showroom floor. I would talk to customers. I knew what people wanted to buy. I knew what they didn't want to buy. I knew how to move product. We even had a problem in that business where we're getting too much inventory so quickly that we were placing items in 4,000 square feet of warehouse space for a dollar. Microwaves, Christmas ornaments, TVs, because we were getting this stuff because I I did this inventory of things that we routinely got and we just had to clear it out because it cost us money to throw it away because it was so much that we would fill up our dumpster literally after two loads. Well, that business was very successful. Now, in those stories, I just told you the tale of you, Alex. Because many of you, Alex, like I was a long time ago when I started Pictures with Your Pooch, I wanted to make some money. I 
didn't really give a damn about the marketplace. Didn't give a damn about people. Didn't care. It was all about me, Alex. And that's your problem. It's all about you, Alex. You even have the audacity to be upset with me for wanting to charge for my services. How dare I? Because it's all about you. It's all about you, Alex. And that's the fucking problem. It's all about you. See, pictures with a pooch was I wanted to make some money. I was at Fort McPherson. I was a young soldier. I didn't know anything about business. I was still a young person. Didn't know a lot about life. And that's why that business failed. Because if I was to do that business today, I would have went to everyone that I knew that had a dog or a cat or a parakeet, whatever. And I would have said, hey, what kind of pictures of your beloved pet would you like to have, Alex? And I would query them and I would offer pictures for free. And once I started to get a format and a system, then I would have went to Wolf Camera and got the new camera. I already had a camera, but because I was all fancy, and Alex, it was all about me. It was all about me, so I had to get a new camera. I had to get the phone. I had to put that ad in the paper so I could be respectable. Right, Alex? And that's why I failed. See, that's, once again, it was all about me. Well, I would have made it all about them and their animals. And once I got that system together, I would have went and said, look, Look at these examples of wonderful pictures. Back then, you know, the internet wasn't really bumping the way that it is now. And I would say, look, I have a nice portfolio of happy pet owners. Matter of fact, you could talk to them. They love the pictures. That's how I would have made that business successful. It could have been successful because I would have had to make it all about the pets and all about the people, Alex. But see, like you, at that point in my life, it was all about me. Well, fast forward to the second business. I got into it after having another profitable business. I didn't like it because I was always in debt, Alex. Always in debt. I mean, if you've ever been in $30,000 of debt, $100,000 in debt, $250,000 in debt, it's kind of hard to sleep at night. These were receivables and accounts due. Some of these things were 30-day net, 60-day net, 90-day nets. If you don't know what that means, from the day that I picked up that product, I had 90 days to pay it off in full. And some of these distributors made me put down a 50% deposit because I was a brand new business. So I get this big check from this client, right, Alex? $150,000 with my company name on it. I'm like, I'm making money, right? Wrong. I got to give that 150 plus the 15 grand that was already in the account to my distributor to get more product. So it looked like I was making money. But Alex, I wasn't making any money. I was making other people money. Because see, it was still all about me. So I left that business. Then I got into the storage auction business. I had to learn so much so quick. It was crazy. I had to learn about collectibles, antiques, guns, M16s, the laws on how to sell a class 3 fully automatic weapon. I had to learn how to the state laws about selling handguns. I had to learn about cars. I, I would buy units, Alex. They had cars in the units and the car had a lien on it. It's like, hey, how can I sell this? And the process was to send the lien holder a notice of rent because I was charging them a holding fee because I had their property. It was theirs because they held the lien. But since I had it, it was costing me money due to this wonderful thing called the rule of law. I could charge them a rental fee and after a period of time, it was like, well, just keep the car. Here's the title because it's cheaper than paying you the rental fee. But that's another story. I was forced to learn so many things, so many ins and outs. Uh, when I would pay my landlord, Alex, it was made out to the trust to his kids. So I learned a whole new level of business because see, it wasn't about me. It was about my partner. It was about my product. It was about the customers. I was last on the list. I learned the most. See, that's how you create a profitable business when it's not about you. And that's one of the things with this fancy G whiz internet life. It's all about what I want. I'm a member of some high level mastermind groups and I just hear terms like sucking the list dry, getting every penny out. That doesn't really float for me. I'm not judging. I'm not going to say any names. I'm just going to say I don't think that's all about the customer. I don't think that's all about the marketplace. 
So Alex, if you want to create a profitable business, make it about the marketplace. Make it about the customer. So the first thing that you have to do is forget that you even exist. You don't matter. Your customers don't care if you had a bad day. Marketplace doesn't care if your mother has cancer. Uh-uh. Doesn't care. And that's something you have to deal with. Yeah, it's fucked up. It truly is. And I will say if you have some really good customers because you made it all about them, that they will have empathy and a lot of them will really go to bat for you in certain situations like that. I still have people who ask me today about my partner. I met a guy recently. I was at Zaxby's on Buford Highway. And this guy, he kept looking at me and I had that deja vu look like, I know that guy, but I couldn't place it because it's been like eight years. And he comes up, he's like, hey, because you know he was Hispanic, he had that thick accent. He's like, hey, you, you still got that warehouse? No, nah, man, we had to close it. Why? I love that place. Man, here's my number. You open again, let me know. I'll come, I'll bring my friends and family like we used to. I love that place, man. Thanks. Eight years ago, and people still remember, because that business was all about them. I would get there early in the morning, pull out the signs to avoid, you know, to avoid the code enforcement people, right? Then I was sitting there, and I was sitting at my desk because I had a position where I could watch everybody and see the whole warehouse. And I would watch what people would buy, and I would watch where they would linger, and I would watch where they would pause, and I'd write it down. Or sometimes I would just remember it. And the more of that stuff that I did, the more profitable the business became to the point where money was just flowing out my ass. It's kind of funny how that worked, Alex. So if you want to build a profitable business, you're going to have to forget about you. You're going to have to forget about your mortgage. You're going to have to forget about your kid's private school, the ex-wife, child support. All that's got to go out the window. You have to 100% align yourself with what the marketplace wants and when you get to a supreme level of hustling entrepreneurship, you can actually dictate what the market needs because you're coming from a position of, I want you to be successful. I want you to get what you want. I want you to get these products. I want you to get these services. And then you can start to predict things. A few years ago um, on this channel, I, when I used to do social commentary because I stopped, I'm going to do that on another channel, I had predicted that we have a new economy, a new middle, you know, uh, a new class of people, very educated and dead ass broke. I think the title of the video was why college educated people will be working low wage jobs from now and forever, something like that, because essentially the marketplace works like this. The marketplace doesn't care if you can't pay your student loans. Marketplace don't care. You know, marketplace kind of like the honey badger. Marketplace, marketplace don't give a shit. Marketplace don't give a damn. Does not care. So you're sitting there thinking, I got to pay my student loans. I got to pay my rent. I got to pay my car note. I got to pay off bill because I borrowed 500 for them because I couldn't pay my rent. You're in this cycle of what you need to do while ignoring the marketplace. I built something called HustlersKungFu.com. We create mindsets because, once again, a lot of people are not fully in line with it because it's an advanced play. I know, based upon what I have seen in the marketplace in the last 20 years, that jobs, as we know, Alex, they're about to disappear. A good paying job, one that's like 60 to 100 grand with great benefits, those are kind of rare. And a lot of people are fighting tooth and nail for those jobs. But if you care about the marketplace, you care about people, you could create a business right where you are, selling a service, selling products that can make you the same money and you'll feel good about yourself. You'll sleep well at night, Alex. You would, you would, because see, you care about the marketplace and you don't care about you. So that's how you start a profitable business. That's how you make money. That's how you really, really set yourself apart from everyone else out here who's trying to make a buck. That's the thing. This week, I've had some wonderful phone calls with customers, potential clients, and there's the same overlying theme. I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. Well, here's an answer for you. Study the marketplace. See what you can provide for the marketplace that is needed and requested 
or if you're prescient, that you can see that it's coming. My first book, going back to the successful storage auction business, I wrote that book because I knew the subject matter backward and forwards. But I, it was 10 years of my life, 20 some percent of my life doing that one thing. Alex, you're trying to study something for a week and get 10 years of pay. This game's not going to work like that. Like I said, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, learn the fucking rules so you can win. And one of the number one rules is the marketplace does not care about you. So that's how you start a profitable business. That's how you start a profitable hustle. If you like this video, and you should, go below and I've got some stuff that's pretty nifty, pretty spiffy, pretty special for you. There's some free stuff down there and there's some things that it's going to cost you a pretty penny. But if you want to improve your life, notice I said improve your life, not just build a business, because why would you build a business that resembles that job you hate? Something that you're selling, something you don't give a damn about, working with people you don't care about, doing all this stuff. Why would you do that intentionally when you had to do it to survive? That doesn't make any sense to me. So once again, if you want to build a life that you care about, that you love, and have a business that dovetails into your life versus you ingratiating yourself to your business, then we can talk. You've made it this far. There should be a number on the screen. Or it may be at the end. I haven't decided yet because I'm doing this on the fly. But call that number and I'll set up an appointment to talk about your service to the marketplace. If you already have some type of service or product that you're selling to the marketplace, we can have a great conversation. If you are clueless, Alex, don't really know what you want to do, you're kind of looking for the best thing, the great thing, the next thing, I'm going to recommend that you join HustlersKungFu.com and start with 30 days to 2500 It's a mindset course with salesmanship and how to build a business. But there is no thing that, that it won't tell you how to sell this widget. It won't tell you how to get this product. It's a general course, but it could change your life. I've had one person who started a business from that course. I had one person who went from 30000 a month, had a business already, to 100000 a month from that course. But they did the work, and I'll make you this guarantee. If you do the work, Alex, you'll be successful. So once again, be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to go below the video and check out some of those wonderful things that I have for you. What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020. What this is, because, you know, there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an FBA course or you'll have a how to run ads course. But there is no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions. I'm in a ClickFunnels group and I just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education. So what I'm putting together and this is from learning from this, this is B school for hustlers. Um, Funny thing is, I, I created this about three years ago, and I created a Stripe account for it, and the Stripe account was still open. So apparently, they don't have a problem with B-School for Hustlers. So in, in any case, we could get around that. But let me take you through the whole process. Now, this will include an updated version of the Art of Holding, and I'm going to get into that. So you got two ways to get in here, 1,600, one and done, and 18 times 125 per month. So you got two ways to get in here, 
and this pricing is just going to be available while I'm beginning. Because once I build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this. Because this is the, there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that, you know, we're going to do, and let's see. Um, really don't want to be there. Let's do this. Let's go to B school for hustlers. You like that? You like that? You are the lion. The zebra is the money. Go get that money. That's the world we live in. All right, here it is. So what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses once again the courses are not done as these courses come online like how to market and sell on youtube that will be a course and you know it's not 100 percent ready and how to make more money from broke dick danny to pay percy that's going to be a course. The strategic holding company, how to set up and deploy. There's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward. The Google ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. The hustlers mindset course, how to change your thinking for abundance. I'm going to go deep there. How to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The money management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the money game, how to play and win. So what you're going to be doing is getting, because I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses. And, you know, need to get rid of that because um, because I'm already got I'm adding stuff here and I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this but i'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up a rugged durable online business because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses they're not bad but the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive, uh-huh. So we're going to do this for, because I'm going to add more to this. $2.99. Let's get rid of that free. But. Essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses. Because the Google Ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube, do a course on that how to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that, you know, many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. And I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out. So you will have these courses. They will be done. They'll be available. You will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan 
before you pay for this. I want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school, you know, and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that. If I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out because there's some stuff I'm mulling over because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, this is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy, that's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the Hustlers Mindset course second. Then you're going to do how to make more money from broke Dick Danny to pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the strategic holding company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense because let's take the money management course. What's the use in you making money? If you just going to blow it big willy style, if you're just going to not properly do what you need to do. You, you, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on disruptive mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long-term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that. And you, you get all of this and I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer, right? This pricing is, you know, cause I'm pretty much going to do the hustlers mindset course after the money management course. Then we're going to get how to make more money from broke Dick Danny to pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the strategic holding company, I've got probably 75% of the content already. So that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn and process and begin doing very, very quickly, very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um, you're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen now this isn't the t-shirt that isn't the t-shirt <clears throat> i'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt and that's also included in the course it may be a long sleeve i may do a long sleeve i'm going to work on that tomorrow but I feel that this is a welder rounded curriculum for you to make money online because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you the power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month. And my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like disruptive mail, disruptive mail makes 
consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to disruptive mail and I'm starting to see results. So, and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're gonna discuss how to create the right type of content because you gotta have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this. And all this happened today. I built this out today, I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it. And now that you know it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done. So this is what's going to drop. This is what's going to happen. And the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course. There's already content there. There's training already there. And I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020, I will include that in this offer, the T-shirt we will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So I, I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google ads course, I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you, you, will, you will actually start, you know, seeing me run ads and stuff. Because I've got a budget. I'm going to start running ads. And... I'm going to do a course after I get to running this. So, and you know, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. That's going to be a winning class. So there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business. And for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. Um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.